If you're looking for a simple, sweet book to beef up your meditation practice, I have got the perfect answer for you. Hey there, saplings. Welcome back to Esoteric Moment. Today, I have a book review for you, and it is Pagan Guided Meditations by Yucca from the Pagan Perspective. Now, I meant to do this book review like a year ago and to actually take one of the meditations for you and do like a video montage type of thing, but I haven't had time for that, and I really think this is such a great book for people looking to beef up their meditation practice. So I'm just gonna tell you what it's all about. If you haven't watched Pagan Perspective, it's a collab channel. Everyone answers a question each week and there are regular hosts and Yucca is one of those regular hosts. And then there are substitute hosts, which I am a substitute host. And we take turns answering these questions every day, all week long. Yucca has also written a book and it's just this really great, simple, straightforward book for those who are pagan and looking to work on their meditation practice. What I love about this book is that so many of us struggle to find like good, affordable books. And this is a very reasonably priced ebook on Amazon and it means that you can get it readily and read it on any device. This book is very straightforward. It basically follows the wheel of the year, a full moon, a new moon, and then how to write your own meditation. There's a little description about whatever meaning or message or kind of theme might be going on for this meditation and then it just dives right into the meditation. I found it was easiest to record on my phone using the voice recording app, the meditation, and then playing it back for myself in the evening when I usually do my meditations. This is something I do for many books that have meditations in it, but it's particularly useful in a book that's all about meditations to just kind of sit down, open sacred space, record as many messages as you can, and then utilize those messages later on. Yucca also talks about other ways that you can incorporate these types of meditations or work it into your own meditation practice. She does a great job of really making sure that the reader is honored and the reader's practice is honored. So there's not a lot of language that's going to make you feel uncomfortable if you're not a druid or if you are new to meditation or if you're a pro at meditation. It's really written in a tone that allows a lot of people to get value out of it, which I love. And at the end of the book, of course, there is a section all about writing your own meditations, which is why I wanted to recommend this book. So many times it's really easy to just get stuck using the meditation app or whatever book you're reading and not really be able to connect the dots from this idea and this practice that's really useful and helpful for you, but crafting and making it your own and really integrating that practice into your life and into your own spiritual perspective, whatever that might be. So this is such a good way to get started in writing your own meditations and integrating your own practices. So easy the way Yaka makes it sound. I can't recommend it enough for those who are looking to work on meditation. This book review is very short because the book is short, but it's totally worth it. This week's sapling shout out goes out to Manticore's Lullaby on Instagram. They have this really sweet binder that they store all their Gorsi in and it's kind of a uh, like Book of Shadow meets Gorsi storage and I love it. So go check out their Instagram. If you want to be next week's sapling shout out, definitely leave me a comment below about your meditation practice. Is it something you use or uh, still struggling to incorporate? tried it or just not your thing. I'm curious to know how it works for you. And on a side note, I was really hoping to record outside, but it has been rainy and humid and hot for like weeks. Luckily, our home has not flooded, but the community that we live in has had flooding. Madison has had tons of flooding. The road to work has had flooding. So it's just a very wet and soggy, outside so i think it's gonna be recording a few videos inside for a while and then hopefully i'll capture the fall colors for you in a few weeks thanks for watching and as always may you find peace in the sacred grove <laughs> <laughs>